Hello Soul Family, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, What are their true feelings for you? But before we get started, I just want to say really quickly, thank you to everybody who likes and subscribes to my channel. I really appreciate it. You're really helping my channel to grow and it's made a huge difference. So I really appreciate it. And also, if you haven't subscribed and you actually like my videos, please subscribe. I would like to urge you, you know, because it really helps me out and make sure that my channel stays alive and thriving. And so I don't go anywhere and I can keep creating content for you that you enjoy. Also in the video description is information if you would like to find out how to get a private video reading. And also in the video description is where you're going to find your timestamps. This is going to be option number one with the, the amethyst seal, option number two with the clear quartz, option number three with the pyramid that's lapis lazuli, and option number four with, I think this is just some agate with a bunny. So you can go ahead and pause the video and take as long as you need, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and find out what their true feelings are for you. All right, so here we have the cards for option number one. And let's go ahead, sorry, it was a little bit crooked. And with this amethyst seal, and let's go ahead and find out what your person is feeling about you. What are their true feelings? All right, so I'm drawing these like at the same time, so you have to feel a little bit of shuffle, so I'm sorry if it bothers you. Some people like it, some people don't like it. You can't cater to everybody, so you just deal with it, I guess, if you don't like it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. How is option number one's person truly feeling about them? How is option for one person truly feeling about them? How is option for one person truly feeling about them? How is option for one person truly feeling? I'll put them over here. How is option number one this person truly feeling? can't hear me you're not meant to so don't worry about it just repeating what is option number one's person truly feeling about them all right so we have the magician and the reverse we have the king of cups we have the sun and the reverse we have the nine of pentacles in the reverse we have the eight of swords we have the hangman in the reverse. We have the page of cups in the reverse. We have the chariot. We have the king of pentacles and the hermit. And then we also have palm tree, camera, girl with a snake, mirror, and love call. All right. Uh, let's see. So how are they truly feeling?
I feel like they're kind of uh, burnt out of the situation. There's also like, a, it seems like some kind of lack of clarity about the situation. We do have Gemini, Pisces, just a major arcana. We have a lot of major arcana. We have Leo, we have Cancer, and we have Virgo, just in the major arcana. Yeah, like they're burned out from the situation. I feel like that your person may have like tried to enable some kind of boundaries or something. Some of them, they feel like they're a bad person. They feeling like they're behaved rather coldly to you. They definitely, it's like they feel like they tricked you or there's some kind of illusion. They also may feel like the situation is an illusion. There's definitely some kind of fantasy. Also, the magician in the reverse can indicate um, like intention without taking any action. Like a lack of action or blocked manifestation. Your person is really wanting stability and everything. And I feel like that might be a situation they don't feel like, it feels like they can't, they don't, like at least here, it's like they feel like they can't, if anything, they feel like a, like a victim with the Eight of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords too. And the Hangman and the Reverse is, is to like convey to you the concept of it is that it's like an Eight of Swords feeling for, in some ways. It can indicate other things, but it can also indicate a, a victim type mentality, but like a spiritual victim. Like, oh, like God's cursing you or something like that. I do feel like this person does have loving feelings for you, but it's like, I feel like there's communication that's being cut off here in some way. I feel like they want to communicate, but they're, they're holding back. They feel, I, I'm like, I keep seeing the girl with a snake and I keep feeling like, you're probably the girl and they feel like the snake with the cherry. I feel like they actually do want to make forward movement from you. And they actually, some of you, they may be worried that you might move on from them, even though they're not, I, this person feels emotionally or they don't feel available. Looks like they might be needing, they might be, with the nine of pentacles in the reverse can indicate wanting to become more more um single perhaps or emotionally like independent financially independent too but this could be for some i am seeing that this um this could be a working situation with the king of pentacles and with the nine of pentacles in the reverse but i feel like that you're mirroring each other you're both wanting to could become more independent or self-sufficient which can actually indicate wanting to become single. If that's your situation, that might resonate. They feel like you're someone who's very stable to them. Like that you, I feel like that you're you're there for them. I feel like they want to be there for you too, but they, they're not. They're not as there for you as that they feel like that you deserve. They're reflecting. This person really wants to communicate with you. They want to tell you something. We have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. They want to let you know, but they're feeling limited with the eight of swords. Mental, they're like limited mentally. And with the hermit, they're reflecting on the situation. They're trying to gain wisdom on the situation. All right. All right, please tell me what is option number one person feeling about them? What is option number one person feeling about them? We have some oracle cards. What is option number one person feeling about them? 
connection or one's personal feeling about them. Engineer. Assumption or one's personal feeling about them. Mentor. All right. So with engineer, it says the ability to give creative energy a practical expression. Talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. And then we have mentor. Passing on wisdom and refining it a student's character. So they see you as somebody who's like a mentor, someone who's really smart, basically, and that they look up to. All right, let's see what the other ones say. in the reverse which is number 23 one feeling about them we have coming apart in the reverse and this other one really wanted to come out commitment in the reverse this person does not feel like that they can offer any commitment and and this card's in the reverse is 36 46 and 23. I feel like that some things have been coming apart so they can come back together. So don't be surprised in this situation if you like there's tower moments. I feel like that the situation this person is feeling like they're feeling a really strong sense of lack. They really want this person wants to come together, but they're like not really wanting any commitment. Let's see what the child's gonna say. All right, please tell me what is option number one's person feeling about them? What is option number one's person feeling about them? All right, so we have like two people coming together like, hey, what's up, friends? or something getting together like when you haven't seen someone in a long time and we have a witch but I rolled them again all right so we have let's see what words we have we got a lot of little, little cards we have Capricorn so if someone could be a Capricorn there could be some significance at that time we have sense so there's there's some kind of sensing okay I'm gonna try to figure out what they're sensing all right, that's all we got. We got the Five of Pentacles, so that's a feeling of loss again. It's just like a sense of lack. We have the Six of Cups. This person's thinking about you a lot, and they're thinking about the past here with camera. Even you know, it says um, perception learned from the past. I, I'm hearing that, like thinking about the past in this situation. We got the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of worrying. We have the King of Cups again. The person definitely could be a water sign. We have the Four of Wands. So this person does think of you potentially as, as um, coming together, celebration, teamwork. So they might find you a good teammate, but also like happy home potentially. Four of Wands is like getting married and celebration. And then we have the five of swords, which talks about conflict and they actually could be feeling defeated in this situation. We have follow your heart. So they really are trying to follow their heart in this situation. We have friends. So some of you could be in a friendship situation or there could be a significance with a friend of theirs or yours. We have enjoy the little things. Maybe you have mutual friends. We have a snail, so I don't expect feel like that they're moving very quickly in this situation and I'm actually hearing with the snail that with some salt like if someone got salty it could end up killing things we have a unicorn so they find this feel this you know this really they find this connection to be very magical and unique and special we have amethyst 
so that is about for me the third eye chakra even though it can be used for crown too so i'm hearing this a higher connection and we have a little steering wheel from a ship so they're trying to find their way in this path with you they feel like they're trying to find i'm hearing true north that they're trying to find their path and how it all fits in here with you please tell me what is option number one's person feeling about them so this is interesting so we have a person sleeping and a fairy i'm hearing that they, they have dreams about you yeah some of them they're having difficulty sleeping because they're thinking about you a lot but i'm hearing that they're mostly having dreams about you so here's your charms, and then I'm going to do some messages for you. All right, let's see what they want to say. Please tell me what is option number one's person want to say to them. What is option number one's person? First one says, I think about marrying you. And I was already picking it up with a little tiny four of wands. See, they think about coming together and they think about commitment. They have a hard time that they feel like that potentially the connection could be really good. They think about marrying you. That's option number one person think about saying to them. My heart is broken and I'm trying to heal. Please give me time. When I go out, I imagine having a chance meeting with you. That's option number one is person to go out saying to them. We have, how could you want to be with me after everything I've done? We have, I can't stop thinking about all of the things that you said. Hmm. What did you say? Let me know in the comments below. Think about leaving the karmic for you. So if there's a third party situation, they could be thinking about leaving that person for you, or they could be just thinking about leaving like a karmic situation for you. Maybe they're in like a karmic cycle or something. I feel like that there's definitely something holding this person back from coming towards you. Especially with that eight of swords and the hangman and the reverse. Ooh, two wanted to come out. Okay. So I have done a spell on you. And it's killing me trying to stop myself from thinking about you. You're always on my mind and in my heart. And then also I got, I'm angry. It was an extra card that came out. So that might resonate for some of you. Let's see what other messages we have here. All right, what is option number one's person? Want to see that one? So we have, it, it really was me, not you. I know I made a huge mistake. You affected my life significantly. And we have, it all comes down to timing. That often comes up when there is some kind of third party type of situation. Because it's something else they gotta get out of.
I miss the feel of you next to me. I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. I just want you to be happy. Ugh, I kind of don't like that it's like a cop out. So there could be some feelings that they don't feel like that they're good enough. And they feel like somebody else maybe has to take over or maybe you don't deserve someone better. Because they feel like they've done a lot of things to and made a lot of mistakes. Let's see what we got here. We also have, I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. So this person's made a big mistake. Let me know in the comments below what that is. How could you still love me after all I've done? Oh my God, it's like the same thing. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with. I'm hearing lying, but a lot of you that this person lied. Um, you are an angel, so I don't feel like you're the one who did anything wrong in this situation. I wonder who they're angry at. Is it possible to forgive and forget? I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. I'm more affected than you know. Ooh, so that is how your person is truly feeling about you. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up and let me know by you know, let me know in the comments below what you think. Also, if you would like to have a, like, be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to option number two. All right, so here we have the cards for our option number two with the clear quartz crystal. And let's go ahead and find out what your person is truly feeling about you. I am doing this a little bit different, so shuffling is going to be involved. So I'm putting them like right in real time. Alright, what is option number two's person truly feeling about them? What is option number two's person truly feeling about them? Alright, let's see. King of Pentacles. The star in the reverse. I heard the words lost hope. We have the ten of pentacles in the reverse. I don't even know anything that's going on here. I just that's just what I heard, so I just, just saying it. So option number two is person you're feeling about him. Knight of Cups. I'm hearing some Aquarius. We have the Tower. The Nine of Pentacles. I'm just trying to flip over all of them. The Five of Cups in the reverse. The Two of Swords in the reverse. Seven of Swords. Ooh. Some Aquarius energy in here. Ooh, this one flipped over. The Nine of Pentacles. Right. 
this option number two this person truly feeling about them this option number two this person truly feeling about them ascending separation Chaser, talking, Ooh. then we have twin flames. So some of you could be twin flames. Get some oracle cards. Alright, that was option number two. Is person that is option number two. Is person feeling about them? We have companion. doing charms and messages a lot of messages so make sure you stick around for those all right what is option number two is person feeling about them option number two is person feeling about them oh my gosh i'm just trying to flip over like a bunch of them we have the bone collector which is number one and this one to come out too coming to life Education, the reverse, and intention in the reverse, which is 22. This one's 1, 29, 22, and 35. Intention in the reverse. This person, they love you. They love you. And they want to be with you. The, there's something holding them back. I'm already picking up. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Swords in reverse. This person may not be talking to you right now, but the Two of Swords in the reverse. Let's see, the signs associated with this reading we have Aquarius, Aries. There's not a whole lot of major arcana, but um, we get, got a lot of earth vibes so it could be any earth sign got some libra energy scorpio energy and virgo energy and pisces aquarius okay so let's see if there's oh, okay i'm actually hearing that it could be any water sign that's what they're telling me. All right. King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. This person really wants to... Uh, I feel like they want to give you a solid offer. And they want to, you know, transcend obstacles. They want preparing for union. They want to, they want to overcome the obstacles that are going on between the both of you. That's keeping you apart. Why? Because we have separation. They are sad. They're missing you. You can especially see that with the Five of Cups here in the reverse. We have the star. This person is... We, um, they've lost... They're losing hope in this situation. This person's very heartbroken, I can feel. They're unsure of the future. It even says here. And the star in the reverse. 
I feel like they still have hope, but it's like, I feel like they're losing it. They're, they've lost a lot of hope in this situation. Doesn't mean it'll always stay that way, but that's what they're currently feeling. This person, they really feel like they could have a long-term commitment with you. They want to tell you things. They want to be with you. This person wants to be with you, but they're like, I'm picking up that for some of, some of you, this person's blocked or they've either blocked you or you blocked them. This person, they want to, it's like they're strategizing. I don't know, they could be strategizing what they're going to do next. We have talking, they're interested in talking more. We have a weighted message arrived. So it's like they're waiting for you to potentially message them. It's saying that you, but I mean, you could say that it could be you, but I'm really picking up strongly that they are waiting to hear from you. We have the tower. The tower is about upheaval. And the nine of pentacles is about being self-sufficient and independent, potentially single. And I feel like that someone being single could be required so somebody may not be single in this situation. Oh, the internet went out. Sorry, the music stopped. <laughs> so we have Twin Flame, Yin Yang. The Twin Flame card broke my internet. <laughs> Balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. I don't know, I'm picking up really strong that you guys are Twin Flames and you're going through like the struggle. I feel like that maybe you're the runner and they're the chaser for a lot of you. This, very, this person, I just get this really strong feeling. This person loves you very much. So this person feels very loyal to you. We have companion. It says loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. This is how they feel towards you. And we have knight, which is basically like the knight of cups. It says loyalty. Again, that's two things. This person feels very loyal to you. Romance and chivalry. A love of honor. Let's see. I'm hearing that some might even feel like mm, maybe this isn't for real. Oh, we have internet again. Maybe they're just imagining it all. Boat collector. It's about healing. There's like a saying that there's a lot in the past that need to be healed. And I feel like they have a lot that needs to be healed. Or you do. I feel like that you. You're the one who probably has a lot to be healed. And they're feeling that you have a lot to heal. With coming to life, it's like they're trying, they want to wake you up. You know, with education, they don't feel like that you know enough. They feel like that you need to learn more. Maybe this person is talking about being twin flames with you or something like that. And you're having to learn more about it. And with intention in the reverse. I don't know. I want to look. Because I actually don't get that one very much. I mean, it's obvious like what it's saying to, about. But I want to kind of. I'm not used to it in the reverse. Yeah, this says right here, are you clear about your intentions or are you in a foggy state of denial about your true motives and or ambitions? So this person is trying to take a step back and gain perspective and clarity about this direction that they're going in. And they're checking maybe their motives or your motives. And they're asking, you know, you know, want to make sure that, you know, are you pursuing some goal blindly or without asking its cost or what, what is your intentions? Are they good? Also, it could indicate that maybe they have good intentions towards you and you're mistaking them. You're being misinterpreted. So this person is saying that is taking a time out to regroup. 
Let's go ahead and see what the terms have to say. Please tell me what is option number two's person currently feeling about them. What is option number two's person feeling about them? All right, let's see what we have here. So we have an eyeball and we have magnifying glass. That's just telling me, I feel like it's saying, you know, like somebody might be looking up at some of these social media. And we have the eight of swords, which is about feeling limited and restricted. We have Aries, so somebody could be an Aries, or there could be some significance to the time of Aries. Uh, and if we were wondering before, if you're twin flames, yeah, twin flames. Again, with this card too. So this person probably feels like your twin flames or your counterparts or your soulmates or something like that. We have Taurus, so someone could be a Taurus. There could be some significance with Taurus. Uh, it could be also moon, not just sun, sunrise, sunrise, Venus, uh, moon, you know, so there's persons planning. We have health. I'm hearing that they want to do things right. They're trying to do it healthy, but we have gamble so that they are feeling like there's some, a certain percentage of gambling that's going on here. We have burden. So it looks like this connection's really burdening them in some way. Also, this person could have health issues or you could have health issues. I'm hearing that and it might be interfering. Did I get any little cards? I didn't get any little cards, okay. All right, so we have Q, V, a lot of letters, Y, N, I, B and D we also have follow your heart this person is trying to follow their heart I feel with you we also have may you always have a shell in your pocket and sand between your toes so this person could be somebody who lives on the beach with you like maybe you both live in a place that's near a beach or something like that. Or maybe you're both water signs. We do have, um, or one of you is a water sign. We have a moon with a crown. I feel like that they're confused about their place in your life. I'm hearing. This person feels like they're, also I'm hearing dreaming. This person could be dreaming about you. We have spider. I'm hearing irrational fears right here. So somebody could be having irrational fears. Maybe maybe they feel like that you are or they are. And we have a fairy. And it's holding, it's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's holding like a ball. And it's like, it feels like it's like protecting it. And it's like, they want, they feel like the angels are trying to protect this connection or angels could be trying to. We also have a fairy that's sitting in a moon with a star and they're really hoping that their prayers are going to be answered in this situation. So let's roll these. So please tell me what is option number two person currently thinking about them. So we have an eye, we have a dinosaur, yeah, and the seven of cups. So what I'm getting out of this is that the eye is like looking. I feel like this person is looking at your social media or you're looking at their social media. Maybe you're, you're both probably looking at each other's social media. I feel like there's some kind of, I'm hearing old souls. So you both could be old souls and I'm hearing incarnate. With a seven of cups. Here, I'll let you look at them really quick. And it feels like this is with a dinosaur, like somebody who wouldn't know what this kind of dinosaur is, they would feel intimidated by something huge and scary, right? But it's a vegetarian, so it's not hurting anybody unless it steps on you. 
so don't get stepped on. <laughs> anyway, so this is your charms. And let's go ahead and see what kind of messages we have for you today. Tell me, what does option number two's person think about saying to them? What does option number two's person think about saying to them? You know, I'm trying to fly over and out. What does option number two's person think about saying? I'm not trying to do that yet. Yeah, I'm trying to show them. What does option number two's person want to say to them? What does option number two's person want to say to them? So the first one who said says, I want to stop holding back from you. Yeah, this person, I feel like they are holding back. They have a lot of strong feelings. Or I'm actually hearing for some of you that they want you to stop holding back from them. How can I get you alone? So it's like they want you to, they want to get you alone. I don't know, maybe they feel like, you know, if they were spent some time alone with you, maybe they would be able to you know, figure out this connection. It says you are unpredictable and it excites and scares me. Then we have, you see a side of me not many others see. I don't want to see you with anyone else. I don't think I can handle it. They're feeling jealous. It says, if you knew the real me, you may not feel the same. So what I'm hearing actually is that I'm hearing for some of you that you rejected this person. And if you knew the real them, that you wouldn't feel the same. You wouldn't want to reject them. That's what I'm actually hearing. It was different. <laughs> I don't usually hear it that way. Then we have, I just want to have fun for right now. So this person wants to have fun. They don't maybe want all this heaviness. Then we have, you are more important to me than I lead on. All right, let's see what other messages we have here. What is option number two's person think about saying to them and what do they want to say to them? We have, I just got sidetracked. Maybe they've been busy. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. So they're getting a lot of synchronicities about you. You are irreplaceable. And you are irreplaceable, especially if you're twin flames, because you're the only person, that, you're the only other half of them. There's not, you can't, there's not another one, just you. I feel too much pressure right now. So they're feeling a lot of pressure. It may not just be, could be from all different sources. I will come back to you. I'm really bad at commitment. Or maybe they feel like that you are. Then I also have, I'm still trying to find myself. You got like a few that flipped over at the same time. So I wasn't gonna do that many, but you got a little bit extra. I hope you don't mind. All right, let's see the other deck. Let's see what they wanna say. Right, what is option for two's person saying to them? 
What do they want to say? All right, so we have, I feel damaged like I just can't do this. So this person feels very damaged. And like I was saying before, um, we had the bone collector. So there's a lot of healing that needs to take place, probably through both of you, because you, I feel like that you are mirroring each other in, in those ways. Our connection still affects me. This person's still affected by our connection. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. So this person, they're kind of being driven crazy by the, all the signs and synchronicities that they're getting constantly thinking about you, reminding them of you. Maybe they try to get their mind off of you and distract themselves and get busy doing something else and get some kind of sign or synchronicity about you and it reminds them. I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you. So they feel like, I'm hearing they feel like they failed in some way. How could you still love me after all I've done? We will be together again. This person does feel like that you will be together again. I feel safer in the silence. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead and now move on to option number three. All right, so here we have the cards for option number three with the lapis lazuli. And let's go ahead and find out what your person, what they're feeling about you. Look at their true feelings. What is option number three's person's true feelings? And I am pulling these in real time, so I hope you don't mind the shuffling. Some people hate it, some people love it. I can't please everybody. So if you don't like it, uh, maybe skip ahead a little bit. All right, so please tell me what is option number two, or three's person? What is option number three's person? Two feelings. The star and the reverse. The ace of cups. The two of wands. and the four of wands we have the eight of, of pentacles or the eight of points in reverse we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. We have the Five of Cups. Looks like there's some kind of loss. We have the Page of Cups in the reverse. I keep seeing similarities with all of the piles so far. We have Seven of Coins. They're just a little bit different. There's options. These person truly feeling about them. Alright, so we have rocking it. Who's walking who? Take a chance. 
hearing that some of them might want to take a chance with you or they're hoping you would take a chance with them. Why? And it's a plan. Let's get some oracle cards. How's option number three's person feeling about them? And I will be doing messages and charms. Make sure you stick around for those. I'll be doing lots of messages. Here's option number three's person currently feeling about them? What are they feeling? We have goddess and the reverse. And victim and the reverse. Right, what is option number three? Is person currently feeling about them? We have Gentle Gardener, number two. We have Making a Choice, number 30, and the reverse. Option number three is person currently feeling about them. Protecting Treasure, number 39, and the reverse. All right, so how's your person currently feeling about them? The star in the reverse. There's like a choice, a choice that is going to require a loss and they're gonna have to take a gamble. This person, they're feeling like they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't, basically. This person does love you and they're really disappointed. It looks like there's some kind of power struggle. Maybe they feel like they've been let on or something's being re resistant or also overwhelmed, getting kind of pulled around. This person loves you and they actually feel like they're being, I'm hearing, being pulled around by their heartstrings. This person with a star in the reverse, they could be definitely feeling kind of like a pessimistic over and they, with the eight of coins, they feel like that nothing is going, that things aren't going anywhere. And they could be seeing you this way, but they may be, I'm hearing that they feel like they are like being themselves or being confident. They feel like that they're doing everything to maybe try to progress the situation. Or it could be you, but I'm feeling like it's more like them. But there's some kind of choice that needs to be made. And we even have making a choice here in the reverse. I kind of want to go over and make sure. So I remember what the gentle gardener is and protecting treasure. I remember what they are. It's just when they're in reverse sometimes, I don't remember their meanings. It's like, this is about making, letting others choose for you. This is like, talks about compromising. It says, don't compromise just because you're afraid of facing the consequences of your choices. See here? So your person could be feeling like that. This is about manifestation. And I feel like that there's thing. it's like, this is basically about, you know, it's like the gentle gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs create the reality that you experience. And I feel like this person is kind of feeling like they need to take responsibility or someone needs to take responsibility for the life that they're creating or the life that is being created in this situation currently. 
Also, they are feeling that maybe that you give your loyalty away to those who haven't really earned it. Also, I'm hearing that some of you may be loyal to this person. They don't feel like that they've earned it. Goddess in the reverse, it says exploitation of the female nature and form. So they feel like that basically it's like if you imagine someone trying to seduce you, that's what you'd be getting. <laughs> So they feel like that you're doing things potentially to tempt them. And we have victim in the reverse. It says playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity. So they might feel like that you've been behaving in this way and to get attention. Now, it doesn't have to be necessarily just for them. It could be for or you. It could be for other people as well. And it says inability to maintain personal boundaries. So I feel like that they are actually feeling poten potentially... It could go either way with this one. Someone's playing the victim. Or they feel like somebody is playing the victim. Either they're thinking, but I feel like it's supposed to be about you. So they might feel like that you're playing the victim in order to get positive feedback. Not, not happy about telling you that because this doesn't sound very nice, but it's what it says. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the charms have to say. Let me know in the comments below how this is resonating also. And if it is resonating, please feel free to hit the like button. Two, four, four, four. Please tell me what is option number three person currently feeling about them. Okay. We got three dice. We have a star. We have the ace of cups. Again, this person does love you. Oh, it flopped around on me. So the Ace of Cups. The star is about hope. And then we have the Choo Choo Train. Then it flipped over at the world, so I don't know. All right, so let's see we got what words we got here. So we have trauma. So this person, or someone's going through trauma, they might be thinking that you're, you've been through trauma. We do have victim. We have 444. I mean, just because someone thinks someone's playing the victim doesn't mean that they're not a victim, in my opinion. We have May, so somebody could be born in May or some kind of situation. This could be part of something to do with May. We have a lot of synchronicity. If we have 333, 444, these don't usually come up that often. We have ashamed. So your person's feeling ashamed and crying. Your person is crying over the situation. Is there any more pink bits? No. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands. Then we have the King of Swords. I feel like that they feel like that there's something like there's a passionate new beginning and it's being kind of cut off. I'm feeling like some cold, some coldness. I'm trying to think logically about the situation. They do want a passionate new beginning with you. We have the Six of Cups. They're always thinking about you. They're thinking about the past with you. We have the Nine of Wands. They might be also feeling guarded. We have the Five of Cups, which is about loss and sadness, which we have also right here. We have the Ten of Wands. So this situation is really weighing heavily on them. We have the Queen of Cups. Your person could be a water sign or you could be a water sign or even a Gemini. We have the Ace of Swords. Also this person, someone could be a psychic here, whoever this Queen of Cups is. Um, and with the Ace of Swords, I feel like that they realize the truth about the situation. That this is the spiritual connection. We have this Tree of Life. person's disappointed. Things are not working out. I wonder if who's the choice. Maybe either you're supposed to make a choice or they're supposed to make a choice. Maybe you're supposed to make a choice. We have the letters L and B. I mean, those are letters that are in the word love. So that could be part of what that is. We have survivor. I just, I feel like you or your person has really endured a lot in your life. 
because I mean I see all this sadness and we have trauma we have crying and shame I feel like this person we have protecting treasure too in the reverse we have a kind of like a a whale's tail I'm hearing song you might share music together uh, I'm just I'm picking up a lot of water energy in this connection so either in the chart or something like that we have a crystal butterfly so this is telling me like like it's a transformation I have other butterflies but the crystal one doesn't come out that often so I'm feeling like this is like a beautiful transformation that is going to happen between if you in your relationship they definitely could be feeling that way we have a star with a fairy so they definitely you are I feel like wish fulfillment for them and then we have a fairy protecting a ball so I feel like that there's protection also we have a rocking horse that's red actually it's a unicorn so they do feel like that I don't know some might feel like there's a special child involved for some of you um, the red is the root chakra so it could be about grounding and then we have a mouse with a little heart and with the word love so they're like giving their love away so I feel like that they they're giving you their heart we get we, again we have another thing about the lizard for me is about grounding and we have an anchor which is another grounding type thing and we have a bunny holding cards and I'm feeling like that's definitely holding there's it's a gamble there's a risk and someone's they're holding their cards close to their chest oh, I want to say the signs so the signs are associated could be any water sign I'm hearing and we have Aquarius Virgo I was gonna say Scorpio but I just said any water sign Aries and Taurus so let's go ahead and roll the dice. Please tell me how is off the number of three person feeling about them. We have rain cloud. I feel like they're feeling sad and confused. We have the ten of swords. They're feeling at rock bottom. This person is really sad and trained. They may be feeling like moving on from the connection or you are or the connection's over. And there's your charms. Hopefully you can see them good enough. Let's go ahead and see what messages your person has for you. Please tell me what is option number three's person want to say to them? All right, I have to take this because it came flying out. So I have, you have the key to my heart. And I look at your social media to see what you've been up to. So they look at your social media. have you're so good I'm so bad so that goes along with the ashamed you know so they feel like that maybe you're better than them or it could be the other way around we got two that came out it says many of my friends don't like you and my family doesn't want us together whoa okay those came out together then we have I wish I chose you I really screwed up like a choice see yeah, this again it's talking about a choice it says your eyes pierce through my soul and your smile melts my heart and then we have I'm not telling you the truth so your person's not telling you the truth about the situation it could be about anything but let's see what else they have to say number three is person want to say to them 
number three person wants to say to them. We have, I will make things right between us one day. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. I'm afraid to take that next step right now. The thought of you still does things to me. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. You are never far from my mind. You've affected my life significantly. All right, let's see what the other one is saying. What is option number three's person? What do they want to say to them? What do they think about saying to them? What do they secretly want to say to them? We want to know all this stuff. We have, I'm more affected than you know. I don't know how I feel anymore. I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. Sometimes I hear, I don't want to be afraid. I want to be authentic and no longer afraid. I hear that a lot with that one. It says, my heart is telling me just do it. See that wrist right here. Then we have, you inspire me. Then we have, I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Also in the video description is where you're gonna find information on if you'd like to have a private reading. And if you'd like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead now and move on to option number four. All right, so here we have the cards for option number four with this little bunny that I actually got from Spiritual Goodies. Um, if you ever want to get anything from Spiritual Goodies, you can get $10 off your first month with them. I, um, I put in, I think, Mad World 10. Yeah. And actually, and if you're not sure and you really are interested, you can see on my Instagram, I have it posted. It's a, it's a little while, but it's down there. It's there. All right, so let's go ahead and find out what is your person currently truly feeling about you. Please tell me what is option number four is person truly feeling about them. And I'm sorry if you don't like shuffling. Some people love it, some people hate it, but this is what we're doing today. So if you don't like it, maybe you could fast forward ahead a little bit. All right, please tell me what is option number four is person truly feeling. So we have the King of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Chariot in the reverse. The Ten of Cups. It's interesting. The Star in the reverse. I swear to God, I think the Star was in the reverse for every single pile. They all, all the piles feel a little bit connected in some way. We have the Hermit. The Magician. Look at these. Major Arcanas coming out. 
We have the Ace of Pentacles. The High Priestess. I'm hearing the secret to happiness. I'm hearing the words the secret to happiness. have the Empress. I'm hearing they may be seeing you in that way as the Empress and then but also with the star. I am actually hearing that some of you are doing tarot, you know, so that they know that you're doing tarot. And I'm also hearing that that you might have uh, feeling like a pessimistic outlook in the situation see you as that way, not saying that's actually how you feel. That's what they're thinking that you feel. We have friendship. Mall crawl. The Siren. Kicking it. And looking closely. See, like, I feel like they're looking at your social media. Right here with looking closely. I feel like they're looking at your social media and they're like thinking that you're really sad. That's what I'm hearing or something like that. Or you're feeling just like pessimistic outlook. Let's see what else we got here. All right, what is, op let me get some oracle cards. What is option number four is person currently feeling about them? And I will be doing charms and messages. Make sure you stick around for those. Please number four's person currently feeling about them. So we have a shapeshifter. And we have the knight in the reverse. Let's see what else we get with the other oracle cards. Here's option number four's person feeling about them. This option number four is person currently feeling about them. We have balancing act 11. It's actually a really pretty card. I mean it's obviously what it means. I kind of want to look at it because I don't think I've ever gotten that card before. I almost got this two of pentacles feeling. We have magic Prayer in the reverse, number 32. And we have Metamorphosis in the reverse. It's like a lack of growth in this situation. They feel like that there's a lack of growth. This person, uh, it's like they want a healthy new beginning, I'm feeling. But there's either some kind of delay, there's some there's a lack of forward movement going on here with the chariot and the reverse, but they feel very drawn. They're very allured, very seduced by this, this healthy new beginning with the ace of pentacles. And also I feel like that it could be even money related too. Like maybe you'd be very abundant together, and I feel like that might be part of the that might not apply to everybody. That might be part of the situation here. For some of you, for some of you, I feel like that this person could be, you could be acting like your friends. So it's true friends, solid friendship would do anything for you. Always there no matter what. So maybe you started off as a friendship. This person does feel, um, you know, the King of Cups is someone who's um, emotionally calm and wise and they're reflecting on their feelings as well. And they're reflecting on your relationship. Especially if you're like friendship, they're reflecting on if you should be friends. 
or what kind of relationship that you have. They're definitely reflecting on your relationship. With the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, I'm hearing letting go. They're trying to let go. I'm hearing go with the flow. They're trying to actually go with the flow. I'm not sure. I mean, I feel like they went from the Four of Pentacles in the upright to this. So it's like they're trying to kind of let go and allow things to manifest in the way that they should. They're trying to go with the flow. Um, yeah, like see how pleasantly surprised, happy find. They're kind of hoping that, you know, that they're going to be pleasantly surprised because they are having a pessimistic outlook. There is a, like a pessimistic outlook here. So they might be feeling pessimistic. You might be. But I feel like it's like pleasantly surprised really resonates here in this situation. Feeling pleasantly surprised. We have the Ten of Cups. I'm hearing, again, I heard, you know, the secret to happiness. This person could feel like they, this person could have a secret of happiness. This person, it could be part of unlocking your happiness or th their happiness. Like the Ten of Cups happiness, like the ultimate happiness. It says, kicking it in control, talented, driven, kicking bad habits, trying to score. They could, they could, could see you as this way or they could be in this way. Someone who is a team player, someone who has goals and they're accomplishing. They see you as very, I feel like they see you as happy, but at the same time, it's like happy, pessimistic, but at the same time, I don't know, they just, they see you as someone who's very, and this isn't supposed, this is supposed to be what they're feeling, but this is part of what they're feeling is that they feel like with the Empress, they feel like you're very abundant. But there's like a pessimistic or there's hope without taking any action. They're needing to look closer. This person definitely could be looking at your social media with looking closely. Shapeshifter. It says, skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness. Ability to see the potential in everything. So it's like they see you as somebody who is able to see the potential in the situation and maybe it's affecting them but also we have night in the reverse which is the shadow attribute and it says allegiance to a destructive ruler or principal romantic delusions so they could be feeling like maybe they have romantic delusions or maybe someone's feeling like that or it could be and also but allegiance to a destructive ruler or principal there is somebody who's going to be having the light attribute mostly but it's going to be not as many. It says loyalty, romance, and chivalry, a love of honor. The signs that could be associated with this reading, we have, it could be, again, we have like any water sign going on here, especially with uh, Cancer is really strong here. We have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. We have Virgo, Gemini. Aquarius and Taurus. All right, I want to see this balancing act card because I can't remember if I've read it. If I did, I hadn't read it much. Yeah, it says, there are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and it feels as if you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. So this person could be definitely feeling like that with you. They feel like they're kind of doing a balancing act with you. I'm hearing they're also worried that their prayers won't be answered. Or they're feeling like they are not. This person is having difficulty. It feels like everybody is just really having difficulty with trying to keep hope. Everybody's feeling very pessimistic. It could just be like a general energy that is going around. A lot of times it's just really strong in the collective, I feel. So this is about they're trying to find a way they're they're trying to find their balance in the situation and they want to choose harmony over discord so they're trying to find their stability so this person also they mistakenly believe or they think that you mistakenly believe that your way is the only one. But also that your path 
or whoever is supposed to be, I feel like there could be someone who's got, whoever has the power of making a choice here that it says, could the path that you're on be leading you to a place of regret or could you be pursuing something that just isn't good for you? So they could be feeling like you are doing that, pursuing something that's not good for you. I feel like doing, I'm hearing doing things for the wrong reasons. It says, if so, you may be facing a painful lesson and a lonely one too. Perhaps it's time to pray. Maybe there's some prayer that needs to be going on here. They feel like that and med or meditate and or meditate on the highest good for everybody. And I feel like that I'm hearing that one of you actually knows with the secret to happiness, they know the highest good and someone knows the highest good. All right, we have metamorphosis and the reverse here. So right now it's saying that the relationship is, I feel like they're, it's going through some kind of metamorphosis. You're both going through some kind of metamorphosis. This is about like when it's in the process of, of becoming a butterfly. It says, it says there's a tendency to expect the worst when the first signs of difficulty arise. So I feel like that could have been happening between both of you. It says something is taken away or unwanted circum something is taken away or unwanted circumstances come to challenge you to let go of old ideas about how life is supposed to be. You're not a victim, rather you're experiencing the temporary discomfort we all must go through before the beauty is revealed. So let's go ahead and see what the charms have to say. Please tell me what is option number four this person currently feeling about them? What are their true feelings for them? What is option number four this person? I felt that over here. I felt something over here. What is option number four this person true feelings about them? We have the Ten of Swords. We have a bed. Ten of Swords. And a cave. That goes along with the Hermit. Ooh, what do we got here? We have Gemini. So somebody could be a Gemini in this situation. And on the back it says intelligence. So somebody is intelligent. They also may think you're intelligent. But we didn't get any pink bits. Hang on, I want to grab a little bit. What is option number four is person currently feeling? Ooh, I, I got a lot. <laughs> okay, I wasn't even looking. So we have ashamed. So somebody could be ashamed of their behavior or something they've done. We have 333. So that could be a synchronicity that you guys are seeing or they're seeing. We have hug. So this person does want to hug you. We have beautiful. This person finds you to be beautiful. We have May. So there could be some situations surrounding May that happen. Also, it could be when somebody's birthday is, especially with this Gemini um, charm right here. We have crying. So somebody could be crying. We have anxious. They're crying maybe because they're anxious. We have October, so somebody could be more month, born in the month of October. Maybe it's when you met or something. Let's see. Well them. Okay, let's see what cards we got. The little tiny cards. We have the Seven of Wands, so someone is standing up for what they believe in. We have the Ten of Swords, rock bottom. We have the Ace of Cups. This person does love you. They do potentially feel betrayed or they feel like there's some kind of, they could be feeling backstabbed or just feeling like they're just fed up or they're at the, their wit's end. All right, we have the letters D, P, J, and N. That might resonate for somebody. 
We have watch for God. So I'm hearing about, you know, signs, synchronicities. We have singers. Somebody could be singing. But also, I feel like that this is something about the destiny and the fabric, the fabric of time and space. And I'm just, I'm hearing, like, about, like, the fabric of, like, the fates that's being sewn. We have a, um, I feel like that you're, maybe your relationship is sewn into the fabric. It's something that's meant to be. And we have the deer that could be feeling like that. The deer is feeling protective. We have an owl, which can indicate wise communication. And we have a tree of life. I'm hearing a spiritual connection. And let's see what else the dice got to say. Please tell me what is option number four for concurrent and feeling about them. So we have trees, we have money, and we have the queen of wands. So they could be feeling that you're very confident and beautiful and abundant and with the trees. It's like, what am I getting out of the trees? Confusion, I've heard the word lost. Lost, confused. For some, it's gonna be a little different. So this is, ah, uh, sorry, they're escaping. So there's your charms. Let's go ahead and find out what messages your persons have your person has for you. And also I'm thinking of doing like a friend version of what is what's your friend, like specifically targeting friends. Um, I think that some people might like that, you know, because a lot of these they end up being romantic, right? Let me know what you think in the comments below if that sounds like a good idea to you. All right, let's see what they got to say to you. What do they want to say? Please tell me what is option number four. This person really want to say to them? What do they think about saying that to them? They feel like they can't for whatever reason. What is option number four? This person want to say to them? What is option number four? This person think about saying to them? I'm confused and afraid of rejection. Please give me a sign. Now they could be just confused and afraid of rejection. I've noticed that with these cards when there's like counterparts to it, like I'm confused and afraid, and then there's like, oh, rejection or something. You know, please give me a sign. That might not be the entire message for everybody. I've just noticed that, so I'm letting you know. Then we have, I made a mistake, please forgive me. Then we have, I'm trying so hard to move on and stop thinking about you. Nope. I've wanted to reach out to you, but then I've stopped myself. Then we have, I can see us growing old together. You feel like home to me. we have, I can't be with you now and maybe not ever. There's like a lot of pessimistic energy with you guys tonight. Must be something in the, it's gotta be something with the stars. Then we have, I am drunk on your love. There's like, everybody's so wishy-washy. Let me know if you feel like that as like you've been noticing that in readings as well, especially if you're a reader. Please give me more time. I'm not ready yet for you. So they're not ready yet. Let's see what other messages we have. That's not all the messages I'm going to do. What is option number three? This person I really want to say to them. I secretly want to say to them. What do they think about saying to them? What is option number four? This person want to say to them. What do they think about saying to them? They wish they could say to them what's option number four that they want to say. We have you are an angel. Then we have if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. I'm a better person because of you. 
I'm hearing that you guys actually, even if it's in what seems a negative way, you guys are both influencing each other to be better persons. Would you reject me? I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. I just wasn't ready for you. So again, again, another one says I'm not ready. Something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. All right, let's see what the other cards have to say. Please tell me what is option number four person really wants to get them. Think about some of them, what do they wish they could say to them? But they feel like they can't in some way, shape, or form. You still take my breath away. I need to go my own way for a while. I still remember the good times we shared. You are never far from my mind. I just got caught up in the moment. I feel too much pressure right now. I just got sidetracked. Uh, this person seems very distracted. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number four. I did make this a really long reading. Let me know if you think that, how do you feel about longer readings? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that's all I have for option number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.